This is how a volume profile looks like. It shows you where the volume concentration is. So right here, this is where the concentration of volume is. And it is also where the majority of the trading volume is taking place. And right here, this is where the least amount of trading volume is taking place. Now don't worry if it sounds complicated because it is not. In this video, I will show you how to use the volume profile to determine the strongest support and resistance level. This concept is similar to my previous video about using the open interest heat map to determine the key support and resistance levels. This is probably slightly easier and you don't need to toggle between the open interest heat map and the trading charts. If you have not watched that video, I will leave a link to that video at the top right corner and at the end of this video. I recommend checking that video out next if you have not watched it. I was initially very excited to create this video, but because I realized that the volume profile indicator is chargeable on TradingView, the web-based charting platform that I use, I held back from recording this video. Because I know that many of you do not want to be paying $39.90 a month of something like that for an indicator. So here's the good news. I found a way to sort of bypass it by accident. It turns out you can get it for free without doing anything shady like creating multiple accounts and using fake credit cards and such. So after explaining how the volume profile works and how to use it to determine the strongest support and resistance levels, I'm going to show you how to get it for free towards the end of this video. I know that many of you will probably forget about this or give it a skip if this was chargeable. So hey, you definitely want to stick around till the end to see how you can get it for free. After all, there's no point watching this video if you cannot access the indicator and use it. Sounds good? Then please do me a small favor and smash that thumbs up button. It helps support this channel and I really appreciate that. If you're new to this channel, do subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell as well so you will get notified whenever we upload a new video. As always, if you wish to participate in our plug and trade trading package that is worth $37, do look out for an emoji in this video. You can also find the full instructions in the pinned comment down below. So moving back to the volume profile, this is how it looks like. You can plot the volume profile at where the price consolidates to tell you where the strongest level is. Think of it as a bar chart. The longest bar shows you where all the trading volume is. This is what is known as the point of control or POC in short. The volume profile will automatically plot out the highest volume level and draw a horizontal line. This is the level that is the strongest because it has the highest trading volume. If the current price is below it, then it should act as resistance. And of course, if the current price is above it, then it should act as support. The POC level should be viewed as a support and resistance level. You can also see that the bars are broken down into two colors. And in this case, it's blue and gold. This represents the bullish and bearish trading volume. But there is no need to confuse yourself with bullish and bearish trading volume. We are primarily interested in the total volume. So just focus on the entire bar. There's no need to interpret the bullish and bearish trading volume individually. So the longest bar represents the point of control, which is the POC. Now, what about the shortest bar? Well, the shortest bar represents the point of extreme or POE in short. The point of extreme, as the name suggests, is the extreme point where there isn't much volume and price didn't spend much time there. This is an important level as well because it represents where price didn't spend much time, which means to say that it was quickly rejected. So, while the POC level should be viewed as a support and resistance level, the POE should be viewed strictly as a take profit level. 
not a level that you are looking to take a position on. This pointer is crucial, so I will repeat this. The POC provides you with strong support and resistance levels which you can take a trade or take profit at. But the POE on the other hand should only be used as a take profit level. I hope this is clear. The underlying rationale for this is simple. In a POC, there's a lot of trading volume at that level and hence you expect that level to hold as support and resistance. In a POE, you want to quickly take profit because price is likely to reject the level quickly. That doesn't mean that you should place a limit order there and start buying or selling off the level. I won't recommend that and if you have been watching the videos on this channel, you will know that I always stress the importance of waiting for a price action entry trigger. So now that you understand the concept of point of control and point of extreme, it's time for me to show you how to get it for free so that you can use it of course. Now if you go to trading view, pull out the charts and try to insert the volume profile into your charts, you will be prompted to upgrade to the paid version so that you can use the indicator. But as promised at the start of this video, there's a way you can still get the volume profile without paying for it. What you want to do is to click on this tab instead and you should see the fixed range volume profile option right here. This is how you can use it for free without upgrading to the paid version. This is a fixed range volume profile indicator meaning to say that you have to select the range yourself. The upgraded version is slightly better because it gives you the fixed range, the session volume and visible range volume profiles. But if you are just getting started and experimenting around with volume profile, the fixed range is fine. You want to apply the fixed range volume profile at where price consolidates. Recall earlier that I mentioned focusing on total volume and not be bothered by the bullish and bearish volume. You can also edit the settings so that you see the total volume rather than a breakdown of the bullish and bearish trading volume. Open up the indicator by clicking on it and under the settings, change the volume from up down to total. I don't recommend adjusting the other settings apart from that. So let me show you a couple of examples of how to use it. I would apply the fixed range volume profile right here. And look at how price reacts nicely to the POC. This is why it is so powerful if you know how to use it. And right here, there's a consolidation. And I will plot the fixed range volume profile from the start of the consolidation to the end. And here's the strongest level within the consolidation as plotted by the volume profile indicator. Now please understand that this is just an indicator to tell you where the strongest level is and also where to take profit. This is not an entire trading strategy and I'm not asking you to buy whenever price hits the POC and take profit whenever price hits the POE. That's not what I'm saying. This is just a tool to help you figure out where are the strong levels. You have to combine it with a trading strategy and understand the price action context. So quickly, let me give you an example of what I mean. Suppose you already did your analysis and concluded that you wish to buy because the market context is bullish. Then you can pull out this volume profile indicator and find out where is the strongest support level to look for a potential setup. When price hits the support level with a nice price action candlestick pattern, you go ahead to take the trade. This is the correct way to do it. So summing up this video, I explained to you how the volume profile works. Basically, in a nutshell, it is like a bar chart that shows you the distribution of trading volume. The largest bar represents the highest trading volume and that is known as the point of control. The point of control can be viewed as a strong support and resistance level. On the other hand, we have the smallest bar which represents the lowest amount of trading volume. 
It is known as the point of extreme or POE in short. And because it is a level where price was rejected quickly, the POE is best used as a take profit target. You don't want to make the mistake of interpreting the POE as a strong support and resistance level. So that's it for this video. I hope this video has been helpful and you start implementing it into your trading. As promised, I will leave a link to the open interest heat map video right here at the end screen. Do check it out next if you have not. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. I will see you in the next video.